In this video, we're going to talk about once we have uh, a bunch of commits on a repo, being able to upload those changes back up to the internet. And we're going to talk also about the distinction between repos that exist on other people's accounts, like the Rocket Academy account, and repos that exist on our own accounts. We're also going to talk about submitting the assignments through something called a GitHub pull request. So to review what we've covered so far, Git is a system to control the versions of a set of files inside of a folder. That folder is called a repository. It holds a set of commits that are the record of a set of changes as time goes on, as you make changes to a project. And every time you make a set of changes to at least one file, one file or many files, you can package up those changes into a commit and Git is recording those things one after the other. And so this is what happens on a single computer. And then we talked about what could happen on multiple computers. Um, the fact that each repo can hold its own uh, history. And then we can hook those repos up together through the internet. And we're going to be using one particular centralized place for that, and that's GitHub to hold our repositories and hold the record of all our commits. And we're going to uh, coordinate, we're going to synchronize what we've, we're doing on our computer uh, on our repo with the repo that we're holding in GitHub. So now let's talk about the system inside the GitHub website. We all signed up for a GitHub account and this account exists alongside other accounts like Rocket Academy. Everyone's accounts can have multiple repositories inside of it. And each of those repositories holds many commits. Um, so now let's talk about this thing called a fork, which is the ability to copy a repository from someone else's account into your account. And all that means is that if I want to get a hold of finance reports repository, I can click the fork button and it's going to copy the repository into my account. It's going to make a copy with all the commits inside of it. So let's see what this looks like inside the GitHub website. I'm already on a repository page and this one belongs to Rocket Academy. The name of the account who owns this repository is right here. And then the name of the repository is right here. And now I'm going to click the fork button, which is right here. It's always in the upper right hand side of the page. And when I click this, it's going to take this repository that's currently owned by Rocket Academy and make a copy of it with all the commits into my GitHub account. So let's do that now. I'm going to click and here it's going to ask me because I have multiple accounts that I can copy it to. And now it gives me this page where it says that it's copying it over and this takes a little bit. And when it's done, uh, the page appears under my name. So now uh, this is my account and uh, this is my copy of the repo. Now that I have a copy of the repository from the Rocket Academy GitHub account in my own GitHub account, I can begin to use the Git workflow just like we've already been using. So if I want to get a hold of this repository, the code, all of the commits on my own computer, I can then use Git clone. Let's take a look at this in the command line. I'm on the page for my account's fork of the Rocket Academy repository. And so now I'm going to just clone just like I have been normally, which is I'm going to click here and click to copy the URL of the repo. And then I'm in the correct folder here. I'm in the, my SWE 101 folder. And I'm just going to do git clone as normal. and name the folder. So now I just created my folder inside of my computer with the repository. I'm going to go through my normal Git workflow by editing a file in the repo and committing those changes. Let's start by opening up VS Code. Now I'm going to open the folder so I can edit the file. There's an index.html file here, and I'm going to edit some of the text. So 
So I've made some changes to my code file. Now I'm going to go through the normal Git workflow in order to save these changes into a commit. My present working directory is inside of my Git repo folder. Now I'm going to do Git status. It's telling me I've changed one file and let's look at the diff. So it's telling me inside of index.html this one line has changed, which is correct. So now I'm going to add the file and let's do git status again. And it says changes are be re ready to be committed. And now I'm going to commit. And if I do get status again, then I see that my repo has nothing to commit. And if I do get log, then I see the record of the commit that I just created. So I've just gone through the full Git workflow on my own laptop. And I've added a commit to the repo that I got from my GitHub account. Now what I wanna do is I wanna take these changes and I wanna put them onto the repo in my GitHub account. And I'm going to be doing that with the git push command. Before I take the code on my laptop and put it onto the GitHub repo that I have here, let's take a look at the full list of all of the commits that are currently in this repo. In GitHub, I can get to this list by clicking on the uh, list of commits icon right here. And this takes me to a page that lists out every single commit that's currently in this repo. Now I'm going to write the command that takes the commit I just created and puts it onto my copy of the repo on GitHub. And that command is git push. And then I need to add two other words, origin and master. So origin signifies the URL, the place where I got the repo from when I cloned it. And then this has been configured to also put it back onto the same URL where I got it from. And then master is the branch name. We're not gonna deal with git branches during this course. Um, so we're always gonna just write the word master. So now when I hit enter, we're gonna see that the code is being uploaded to GitHub. And it tells me, it doesn't give me any errors. There's no um, colored text. So now I can see on the website that the commit that I made on my computer is available on the website. I'm on the page that shows me the list of commits inside of this repo. You can see that this is the URL. So uh, my repo and then slash commits slash master. And when I hit the refresh button, it's going to show me the latest commit here. So now I can see that the changes for the changes that I just made for the commit that I just created. Now I have that commit on my copy of the repo on GitHub.